but yeah, I'm actually, I don't know what's going on. I've got this, this illness. I'm under the weather. No late. We have to late swap today, so we, we don't get to do any of that stuff. So anyway, it's also a weird slate with a ton of late news that we don't That's have. What I'm saying. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's a little tilting. Um, okay. So I am going to try to be down on like, I'll, I'm going to keep Toronto to, to two maximum for, for me mostly. Um, that's one thing I think. Why? Because I don't think that there's, I, we just saw this happen the other night. Like, I don't think there's this insane value that everybody thinks that there is. I mean, uh, it's very skept- speculative. Let's just see who's starting first. I mean, you have guys coming off the bench with an 11 man rotation and right. everybody's going to get minutes. You know what I mean? Like, and, and that's what they did last time. They spread out all the minutes. I'm not going to be, I'm not, yeah, somebody probably gets there tonight. That's why I say I'm not capping it too. I'm usually playing one. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's a weird slate. <laughs> um, and I am also trying to keep my Boston, like, well, it's interesting because Boston's actually getting lower ownership in some spots that I want. Like I like the Pritchard play, obviously. Um, but I don't think I want to play O'Shea Brissett. Um, and I okay. definitely think I, I like Jalen Brown, but I also think Derek White at low ownership is, is really interesting. So I'm trying to do some of that. I, I don't have any interest in anything from Detroit, particularly. Um, you could see the projections sort of leveled out a little bit uh, as the day went on. Uh, but I, I, again, 12 guys available. So then it's just a big waiting period till 8 Eastern, which reminds me, let's just make, I didn't make sure I set my alarms tonight. Um, okay. So yeah, let's make sure I can have time to substitute later. Yeah, I mean, there are all these, all these, uh, all these guys in Toronto. We don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> yep, exactly. Um, so, uh, but, the, but I guess the big thing is like Brissett looks like a good value play. I, I, I probably am not going to do that. That's just me. Brissett? O'Shea Brissett. You don't have him projecting well. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Saberson has him as the number two projected player on this on Boston this. is he what yeah Boston yeah I don't know I have him in uh I have him in two lineups out of 150. when did you build him I don't know oh oh so oh, they just gave him a 20 point projection <laughs> great he's boys well, had it for the last hour probably but yeah I'm well, have, yeah I gotta update it then I mean I, I, I only have him for 14 so yeah the Boston thinking? stuff was a little late to update I think okay um, K9, no, I'm not playing on FanDuel. The tournaments were terrible tonight, so I didn't play over there. I'm sure Sheets probably is. No, I'm not playing over there either. Oh, wow. I guess not. I'm not going to play at all. I'm going to be out when Minnesota news comes in. You know what I mean? It's like ridiculous. Yeah, it's like it's it's, it's tough. It's not a great night for uh, for non- Right, for no late swaps. <laughs> you know? Um, but uh, what I do like is I still like these other guards. Um so I think your guard pool is like really like again I, I just think that the point guard is, is is pretty loaded today and the weird part is like a couple of the guys like I'm okay with the Bruce Brown thing but I'm sort of playing the angle that they're going to get blown out I still think he could, could get there but I'm I also I'm playing Ramsey more than Freeman Liberty at the moment because um, at least he does how do we even I, like you said how do we even know who's playing I mean like exactly we need to start a lineup but we do know these guys are going to be in the rotation because they've been you know so. Do you think Liberty? You think Liberty's guaranteed to get any minutes? Uh, I mean, yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't think he hasn't gotten minutes. In a oh, yeah, he he's gotten okay. Yeah. Um, but also, they they have um, they, they have Gary Trent out of too. Like, it's not like they right. didn't lose another. Right, right, right. That's thirty eight minutes. I mean, if it's a late, the game's close. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, so like, I mean, I'm looking at the the guys that prioritize for me would be Pritchard, Nuora. I mean, in terms of like that, you're not messing with the value. I like Maxi the most of those eight ish K guys. Uh, and other than that, I really think you have a lot of tough decisions and guys who I you know you like a lot of places. You mentioned the Steph thing, which is just really popular. Well, it's actually less popular than it looked like it was going to be earlier. I prefer Maxi. I also like the idea of getting to uh, some of Siakam or Halliburton. I like Scoot Henderson still, especially with, you know, just in case, you know, although I think Simons will play, 
But if he didn't, obviously, Scoot would be one of the best plays in the slate. So, like, I was trying to set my core, and it's it's just really hard to do. I'm doing it right now, but it's only like four players. Um, I'd like I'd like to go on record. By the way, I'm looking across the industry that if this Brissett thing from Saberson is is an illusion. It's going to be like 13, 14 points. You think it's going to be that low? Okay, yeah. that's my. Um, it's like, just like, like, everybody else has him in like fourteen. I'll tell you what it, what it won't be is if he does start, which is what Saberson right. probably is projecting. Oh, maybe okay. Because Sam Hauser has more often than not filled in for Jalen Brown. Okay. Um, also, there's a chance like Cornette starts alongside Porzingis, which they've done against teams that play with a big like Duran. So yeah. there's a lot that could change projection wise with the starting games. And I really think I hate to start these shows. That it's really frustrating because I want to do a better job. I want to do the best you possibly can. But I hate to start by saying, like, look, we got to wait for the starting lineups. But we really well, did. Unfortunately, I was thinking about that earlier, and and there's just nothing. You know what I mean? Like, it's just probably just bad. Probably just bad to do these. It's you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what, what are you going to do. I mean, we can, you, you literally can't do anything until six thirty at the earliest when there's news for seven o'clock games. I mean, like, well, you could go through your plans. You know what I mean? I, there's plenty. I, I don't know if I totally. Um, and we can talk about evergreen concepts and stuff, but I mean, like, yeah. You know, yeah, I mean, it is, at this time of year in basketball, I think you're 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 probably right. I don't think it'll be more more valuable during an NBA playoff thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, without without giving names or whatever, I think I mean like literally everybody except for Saberson has has preset at like thirteen points. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, so we'll see what happens. It's just a projection. But like I said the other day, the same way everybody was projecting the the wrong starting lineups like everywhere. Right. I was like all those projections are totally going to change their meaning. Right. Right. You know, um, so it's tough. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's see. And the DraftKings and all the data is like all screwed up with the golf. Yeah, it's it's really weird. Um, so I have no idea how I'm doing in golf. And I, I yeah, mean, exactly. It's very tough to know. Like I, I. I I'm assuming even is still good. <laughs> my uh, my sink Todd lineups are probably doing really well, but I don't have any of them. That's the thing. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, the sink Todd. Sink, sink Todd, just 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 like we thought. Sink Todd, the, the leaderboard is is just hilarious for Sink both. Todd, Streelman, Phillips. Oh man, I would that was gonna be my core. <laughs> there is a lot of time left, at least. Um Man, what's, uh, just, what's Justin Thomas right now to win this tournament? Like minus four hundred. I mean, like no, but but that's the thing that he's not even that much because yeah, there's yeah. we just keep seeing it, you know. Yeah, but it is crazy. I mean, the thing is, they're, they're not that far ahead. Like Cam Young is three strokes behind the leader. Like, Eric he, he, Nicole minus two. There it is. What? Yeah. See, the, minus the guys who make the cut are going to have a chance to win the tournament. Like, yeah, it's it's kind of cool that way. Um. So Reith and Trace Jackson for Mark tonight. I, I, I mean, we, we need confirmation on what's happening with DeAndre Ayton before before I would I would just throw Reith into there. Reith might, you know, Reith is one of those other ones. That, yeah, I mean, like that's why you you sort of want to wait for news. But the problem is that game doesn't start till ten. Right. So what are you gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be a good boy and not and not post anything on on State Kings tonight because it's it's literally just I'm just it's totally negative EV. Yeah. Uh, eight p. Oh, John Conchar remains questionable. I mean, like, and that's he's, he's like, gonna be like he's gonna be like forty percent owned unless he's out. I mean, like, <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it it's tough, man. Scotty Pippen Jr. You know, like. So that I mean, that goes back to my original point of playing this slate. Like, you really have to value timing, because which is why I will not end up with Jonte Porter in my big lineup. There's it's just no way it's going to happen. It's a speculative play anyway. And what's weird is he's the best projected center about point per dollar on at least on Saberson, but he also is the sixth best project or fifth best projected player on his own team. Um, but I, I just am not gonna. I'm not gonna do that when you might get do up breathe if you play the game, you know, right. If you if you can find a way to to keep delaying, or you might get other news that that might change things. With like you mentioned with with Conchar, you might end up with you know different value in in Memphis. Like and 
it's, it's just hard to hard to know. And we need starting lineups on those first two games before we can really do anything. We had Sun JM projected for plus 10 today. Why doesn't everybody speak in Eastern Standard Time? Like, if we, we're all sports fans, guys, we got to only speak in Eastern Standard Time. Like, that's it, period. Like, it's, I'm on the West Coast, but I will speak in Eastern Standard Time. So if we say nine and 930, nobody knows what the hell that means. That's right. why it's just easy. Just stick with one. If it was, if it, if it was PST, great, but it's not. It's Eastern Standard Time won the debate. <laughs> They're the ones. <laughs> Um, I don't even know where Sam Burns is at, by the way. I have no, literally no idea, no way to check. He's not on the board, but I think he's – Tours not, doesn't have it. No, no site has it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just guess. It's like, it's like oh, it's, and, I, and, and I was like looking at on Twitter, and people were like, oh, it's because it's March Madness. I'm like, what the hell does one have to do with the other? You're telling me you can't put up the scores that are literally in front of you at the stadium? They don't have somebody doing that? I don't know. Yeah, no, I know, man. I was just messing around with you. But I just think we all – I do think we universally have have decided that that's got to be the way. We're sports people. That, that's how things, things are presented. It's impossible when, when people start saying mountain time as if they, it's the same thing. We have no idea. Like, nobody has any yeah. idea. So let's see. My little core over there. Very, very small core. And, and look, the Boston stuff, it's great. We got that news, you know. But, like – Yeah, there you go. That's something. But again, you still need to know if, and I don't, I still don't think I'm playing him, but I don't, if O'Shea Brissett starts, then you're actually having a fade or play conversation. Jalen Smith, no thanks. No, 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 not doing that. Where did you see Jalen, Jalen Smith? I just saw him in a couple of lineups, that's all. Oh, yeah. No. Um, so, nope. no, and let me, let, so let me explain this one. So, okay, it was the hometown of Isaiah Jackson. Oh. Okay. It was a going home game and the coach apparently announced before the game, which I didn't get wind of and neither did apparently the DFS world, although I didn't play Jalen Smith anyway, but that they were going to give Jackson minutes. Nobody played Jackson. So nobody figured this one out, but they were going to play Jackson more in front of his, his hometown people. Now they happened to blow out Detroit, which I think they kind of felt like they were going to do anyway, but that was why he got the run, not Jalen Smith. Okay. That's the projection reason why it went back, but he played well. Like, it doesn't mean you're going to get all that role. Um, yeah, that's a really tough one because they have so many guys, like, in the front. It's just – India has so many guys that other than Halliburton and, and, and Siakam, I have a really hard time playing the other ones. Fading Brissett. And, yeah, no problem with that, MJ. But I don't even know – we don't even know if Brissett's really going to be a thing. Like, again, like, like we said, this is – I can tell you right now this is based on him starting. If he is not starting, he will not project as well. He just played 29 minutes at 14 fantasy points. Um, 29 minutes is, you know, pretty ambitious. And even, what do they have, seven? See, yeah, there's something wrong with this projection. Sheet, you're right. Yeah. It's the Saberson projection, and it's it's not – so here's what it is. It's not the projecting him starting. It's his point-per-minute projection. Oh, there you go. 17 minutes, and he's projected at 20 fantasy points. Now, if you project him at 17 minutes, I think you'd find him at 12 or 11. And I think the other sites probably even have him at higher minutes than 17, but they probably are close to his 0.75 fantasy point per minute output, not his 1.1 that doesn't exist. Um, let me just see something. Um, set one place has him at 13.6 minutes. But I do agree with what Mark is saying here. I think that's a sharp idea. So this is for the late swap. Like you can play J Smith Harden and if Aiton's out, swap off to Maxi and Reef. Because then you like you're you have you're stuck with Smith and Harden, which is not that bad. But if you can get Maxi and, and Reef, oh I'm sorry, if you can especially if you can get Reef, if he ends up start if if, if Aiton's out, man, you're gonna want that. So I actually like that that idea, but I think you could go even further with it with the Scoot Henderson part of it too, because he gets another no. so Peyton's out, and there's still always a chance of Simons. Although I'm starting to just ignore these Simons question marks. It's just it feels like every time he's legit questionable, or they think they act like he's legit questionable, he's he's in. If he's out, they announce it early in the day. That's just with my Simons. Opinion. Yeah, he plays a lot of these games where he's questionable. We don't know what's happening. It's a, it was a conversation we had today. Like, I mean, I was listening to other shows talk about it. It's just happened so many times this year. It's like, how many times are we just going to let this dictate what we do? So, but I do think the Aiton thing is more of a thing that I would lean towards. Yeah, there's a good chance that maybe he's out. 
it'd be nice if there was another 3600 so that's the thing is like the, the smith is the other one so you play smith so you can swap to wreath i guess but you, so you can't put smith as a power forward if you do play him that's the way i would do it ideally you want him as your utility but if he's a center that's perfect too Yeah, but see, Simon's Lowry, That well, then you're getting into stuff that do you really – well, Lowry is in the game that's – which Lowry? What you, oh, oh, for Philly. Um, yeah, but I don't know if I really want Simon's and Lowry. <laughs> okay. Personally. Like, I'm not trying to play Anthony Simon. He's fine. Like, he can always get there, but, like, it's not a good matchup. Um, I don't really it's, – it's not like a night that I'd be trying to play him. And, and the Lowry thing I just think is bogus – I, it might sure there might be a nice nights where he gets there, but on a big slate at forty, like I'm just not doing that. I'd rather play Paul Reed. Did they update Burns? Oh, they're getting, they're catching up a little bit. Yeah, I see it. It's happening. Sam Burns is is that yeah he's at par on eighteen to get I have I played the five fifty five and I've got all my other guys in except for Burns. Oh really? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. But they're all well. I mean, assuming that the point eight percent of 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 of, of uh, percent to minus one doesn't happen <laughs> because it's ninety nine point two percent even because I've got I've but literally like they're all even except for I've got Cam Young in there too. Let's see if Tony Fino gets two straight hole in ones. <laughs> I don't, still, he does, still doesn't make it. Okay. MJ, I like McCollum a lot. The issue I have is is the position strength. Um, that's the problem I'm, I'm running into. I really like the McCollum play, but I, I just like the position strength a little too much. Um, yeah. See if so. So you're yeah. He's, I mean, we're talking about wait. Uh, yeah, because you got Pippin, Laravia, and Contra are all questionable. Well, Laravia is a midday, so like you might have everything in Memphis. You know what I mean? I just think we you got to play less of the early games. But with that said, we still need their starting lineups to even decide what to do with those guys. Right. Yeah. Let me see where. Uh, uh, man, now I've got this is actually a real cut sweat here. If, if we know who actually who's playing, Thomas for bogey on seventeen. So Sink is going to have the outright lead for a lot a little while. Yeah, by himself. Um, so yeah, so if Sink if Sink can drop one, you, you might end up with like everybody within five strokes. <laughs> no, I think Sink's oh no, six through seventeen. Oh yeah, so you have to double. So so within six strokes. Okay, so this is big because that doesn't look like a birdie stance, a birdie pr approach there. Ah, uh, this is it. This is for the for my whole weekend. Wait, who do you need Burns? Yeah, don't say anything. I'm not saying it. Not oh my god. Oh my god, dude! What happened in the water? No, he just missed like a four footer to, uh, for par oh, no. on AT, for par on eighteen to, to literally. So now he's dead. Oh my god, that's disgusting! Oh no, Jesus Christ! I don't even want to play basketball tonight. That's that's attached to like so many six of sixes where like literally it's gonna be. I don't know. That's frustrating. Oh no. Uh, Let me see if I have any six or six or six six or six. Let's see. Can you have they updated on DraftKings even? Oh, well, I'm gonna look and see if Cut Sweats has done anything. Oh my god. A little worried about the Derek White. Think I should wait on Memphis sneakers. Yeah, it looks like I might have why oh no, they oh wait a minute. <laughs> I think the only ones I had were had had burns. <laughs> so gross. Oh my god. I might have two. Oh my god. That's a, I just hate watching this stuff <laughs> when that happens. Come on, man. <laughs> The chalkiest, most expensive player in all my life. <laughs> it's like, of course. And I just I had plenty of good stuff with him. Jesus. Ugh. All right. Anyway. Uh so yeah, Anthony Edwards and Reed are in. So that we figured. Okay. What about so Gobert, I'm guessing they're saying it's still game time decision. Yeah, he hasn't played like in a while though. Yeah. If they if they're gonna say, because I don't have that update yet. Um, let me double check. Yeah, so basically, like, if he's – like, I do think that 
you know, Reed is playable. What's his price nowadays? If Gobert's out, but I think that the fact they announced the other guys in and Gobert questionable, that's probably about uh, his his price is expensive. He's seventy three hundred, but he, he you know with him he puts up just these crazy games. Gobert game time decision, yeah. So, oof. So we need this starting lineups. It's 620. We still don't have it, huh? For Toronto. Yeah. If Pippen is out, is Goodwin the best play on the slate? Let's see who else is out for me. I, I don't think there's a way, a direct way I can answer that question because they 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 may play Giroux more than they play Goodwin. So and those are both guys I, I kind of think they are worth taking flyers on in those later games if you wanted to, to late stack. Um, but no, I don't. I, I think Goodwin would look like a very good play. But like right now, he and Giroux are basically splitting ownership. So, but you might be playing he and Giroux if Pippen and Laravia and or Contra are out. Like it's just it's really hard to speculate on three Q tags. Um, that would that is true, Brandon. Uh, it would be fun for a no late swap because then you could really speculate. But unfortunately, it is delay, delay, delay. It's that it's that kind of a slate. It's very annoying, and I don't even. I'm just so tilted about that. Ugh, I was excited, man. I actually thought I, I had a, a bad day one and I was looking to turn around. And ugh, sorry, I'm done tilting. <laughs> I played a lot of golf this weekend too. I haven't been playing that much NBA and I was, I've been doing really well at golf and I just, yikes. Still waiting on the Toronto news. Yeah, we really need some starting lineups. And it matters because like you said, there are 11 guys. Right. So you'd like, you'd like to have some assurances you're going to get on the court. Yeah, the truth is, I I think people are going to play Noir whether he starts or not. Um, but he like I, I do think everyone's assuming he'll start, and it is kind of scary that he didn't like get the blowout run, but he also wasn't playing that much in the regular run last game. Right. But you did lose Gary Trent, so some somebody's got to play. It was easier when there was only like eight guys on the you know the team. That way you, you knew it at least had to be some of them. Because like yeah. literally it could be it could be the the guy who's projected for one fantasy point who doesn't probably not gonna play that ends up playing the most minutes. Like it really you don't know with these with the teams like this. And they're tanking too. They, they, they are so they're in a different version of tanking. They're tanking because that's the only way they can keep their draft pick. Um, yeah, sorry not to be more entertaining, guys. If you want to throw out any scenarios, throw them out there because I don't Trish have any. Jackson else. Davis, Baji. I'm just throwing names up there. Aiton, questionable. The Reaper. Simons is now. I didn't realize that Simons was officially probable. Now I did not see that. So. Oh, okay. That at least takes a little bit of my love off of. I still think that it's fine to play. Uh, what's his name? Um, Scoot. But I don't think that he needs to be like a priority anymore. Because that was that little extra bonus. Although if si if 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 what's his name is out, I mean, say if Aiden's out too, it does benefit him. And I think Jabari Walker and Duop Reed are really the, like Jabari Walker is maybe the guy you take a shot on anyway because there's a path for him to get there. And if Aiton's out, he's going to look like a really good play. I like Gigi Jackson, Mark. Um, it feels just like a guy to plug in and feel okay about, about, about. That's the best way I can describe it. It's not like there's anything exciting, but I, I, I think it's a reasonable play. And also, you get some upside of potentially having those other guys out. But that's what I said. I'm just going to try to keep my exposure, unfortunately, to games that I like uh, down. And it's, I won't play anybody from OKC personally. 
and I will play, um, I'll play one or two from Boston and one or two from Toronto, and then just try to figure out what I'm going to do at 750, finding out about Gobert is part of it. But hopefully we get some news on uh, DeAndre Ayton in that time. That would be really nice. Everybody loves this Lowry thing. I don't know what, what – you guys go ahead and do it. I'm not going to be the one who's going to sign off on this. I don't really understand it. You're out. I, I just don't get it. And there's, it's not like the field likes it. I just hear it being talked about everywhere as if this is like a thing. No, I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm just saying that he's – no, so you it in the Discord, keep talking about it. And I saw people on other shows talking about it. I'm like, am I, I feel like I'm literally just missing something, but I really yeah, I've, I've, I've heard of him and he's 4,800 or something like that. But people are like, oh, it's a point guard against Lakers. I'm like, well, is he the point guard? Don't you think Maxi, the one who has the ball all the time, should be considered the point guard? Like, I don't know. And yes, I like, I think that it's a, I like that game a little bit. I mean, I like, by the way, I, like, I really like Anthony Davis tonight. Um, that's something we haven't talked about in a while. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Troy Brown is not going to get 30% ownership. I'll tell you. Oh, that. yeah, I forgot about him. <laughs> Troy, Brown, Troy Brown is the projections make That's more sense funny. in the afternoon. So Delta, Troy Brown right now is projected to be 8% on that I'm seeing. That's so funny. I totally forgot about him. Let's see uh, who or Bruce oh, Sohan or Bruce Brown. I think Bruce Brown is like generally the right answer. I like that you can delay and play Sohan, but I just think Bruce, I don't even think it'd be between Bruce Brown and Sohan for me any which way. Um, yeah, I think that Bruce Brown is miles ahead of the play that Sohan is. Yeah, that's fine. But like, what do you like about Sohan? Just don't play that position, then, then rebuild your lineups. I don't think, like, I, like I, I, built, I had thought about a lot of different things. I, I, I've been sick. I'd like to look at stuff today, and I did not come up with any thought one time of playing Sohan, personally. If I ended on him, I would not, I would be totally fine with it. If he was the last piece and I loved him the rest of my lineup, sure. But I don't have any reason to try to do that guy. He's been solid for what it's worth. Still nothing in Toronto, huh? Yeah. I mean, one thing that's really important to point out for the Grizzlies is they, they only have 10 guys even with all three of these guys in. It's just hard to know what to do with them. <laughs> so we really do need to sound like if two of those guys are out and they have an eight man rotate, like that's. I think it's against San Antonio. I think we have to do something with that, like a, like a lot. If who? Like there's a reasonable chance here that um, that any of these guys sit for, for Memphis. They only have 10 guys officially there right now, from what I know. Uh, you got you Don't play Bruce Brown then. You don't need to. I don't even have Bruce Brown in my first build because I'm trying to not play as much of the first game. There's a lot of a uh, lot of auto racing this weekend, by the way, everybody. Oh. There's a truck series race, an Xfinity race, a Cup race, and a um, an F1 race, and 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 what's his name is all over all of it. Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. I don't know the exact there. schedule, but if you look in, there's like all kinds of you know, all kinds of content, all kinds of live streams, and everything. So my, my thing about the Bruce Brown things for, for what it's worth, if you played him before, playing him now makes the most sense. I just want to say he has never been in a situation like this ever before. Um, the other night was the closest thing. They lost by 30. They're probably going to lose by 30 again tonight. But I will say that it's going to be his show more than any time in his life. <laughs> right. um, this is a guy who's never like had a 15% usage who will have like a 30% usage tonight, <laughs> probably. So that's the argument for playing him. I'm totally fine if you want to fade him, but I don't think the answer should be between he or Sohan personally. And th that's what's tough about Brown. It's hard to play a guy when this team's losing by 30 points every game. Like, I, I, it's just, uh, that's what it is. That's why I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed with the whole Toronto situation, but I also know that at least 
somebody's going to get there. And I think Noir is the most likely. I just hate this ownership on him. <laughs> I mean, I think Bruce Brown's probably most likely, actually. To what? To get there. Well, then you shouldn't be playing Jordan Noir. Yeah. Because there's an absolute bus path in Jordan Noir if he doesn't start, especially. I mean, he only played 19 minutes like in the last game, and it wasn't just the blow. Like, he came off the bench. He played eight minutes in the first half. What are we, you know? Right. There's a, and I understand that there's guys. I love Noor. You know this. I love him. But I've been, we were playing him when he was unowned, you know, all the time and stuff like that. It just feels, I'm probably going to play him because I think you should have somebody from Toronto. And I think he makes the most sense. But I have, like, if, if you wanted to, to play, you know, Freeman Liberty or Ramsey or, on Baji or Dick or whatever, any of those guys are totally fine, and there's no reason it has to be Noir. Maybe I'll even rethink my my thought on this one. I'll tell you oh, what. They actually have Burns in it even. What they did they mess up? Oh, now they moved him back. Oh, <laughs> brutal, right? <laughs> I was like, what if they got they got it wrong on TV? It's like a double sweat. Oh. Meanwhile, I'll tell you, it looks really good. Freaking. Connecticut. <laughs> Who? Connecticut. Oh, yeah. That Samford uh, Kansas game was really fun. Yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a great block. They didn't give it to him. That was such such a horrible. I mean, that's so. It's so a tough call to make. You know? it's a tough right call, what? It's a tough call. It's a horrible rule that you can't overturn that call. Right. Well, that's true. Every, every single person who, who's a casual, like I got messages from people who had never, probably never watched basketball in their life from saying to me last night or barely watched it in their life. I mean, they'll, why, they'll, they'll, the hell, why can they review all this other stuff and spend 10 minutes and not just realize that the guy wasn't touched? Unbelievable. They'll spend 10 minutes figuring out whether it was 3.2 seconds or 3.8 seconds on the clock. Yeah. For example. Yeah. Ooh, Florida going down. It's Colorado, seven versus ten. Florida Atlantic, they couldn't close out. What's their names? They lost in overtime to Northwestern. Freeman kind of Liberty is free. Wait, wait. Freeman Liberty is starting. <laughs> okay, let's see the projections. This is what they do. That's that's what I see. That's all I see. I don't have the full starting lineup. I just saw someone post somewhere Freeman Liberty starting. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Uh, they'll start. Uh, yeah, Freeman Liberty, Brown, Dick, Agbaji, Alinek. So no Nora. Yeah. Look at Yale putting it to Auburn here a little bit. 68 64 Auburn, four and a half to go. Oh, damn. I have Yale in that one. Celtics are starting Pritchard, White, Brown, Tillman, and Porzingis. Oh, see, that was the other one that was possible. Like, you could see them doing something different with the big. Um, Pistons will start the usual. Well, Cunningham, I, Troy Brown Jr., Cunningham, Ivy, Troy Brown Jr., Ev, Ev, Ev whatever, and Duran. Raptors will start Freeman, Liberty, Brown, yeah. Dick Abaji, Olenek. Yeah. Wait, uh, can we go back to uh, – for some reason, mine isn't updating uh, – who else is starting for the Celtics? Pritchard, White, Brown, Tillman, Porzingis. Okay, so they did keep Pritchard in there. Okay. Yeah, I, th I thought the Hauser. So now I think Till I actually let love the Tillman idea. Yeah, that's pretty good. Rufus yeah. Xavier, Sasparilla. The problem is the off the bench, you have Cornette who will get minutes and whatever, but he's 34. Oh. Like, we don't need to overthink this. Man, you could spend up everywhere else if you uh you go with the uh, the speculation that that maybe what's his name is out out uh, that Aiton's out. Yeah, you could. You could play Wreath. You could actually play probably play Wreath or instead of Wreath, you could probably play Jabari Walker. Actually, is a better play. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's just because that's a later thing, and I'm going to swap. Then I can get my expensive guards. Eh, I can get everything actually. How about just fading Toronto entirely? <laughs> it's rough. I know, but I really want to. I just have no need for them. No Memphis news, no, no Minnesota news.
want that Memphis game. You know who the thing is? It was I don't know why. No, oh, I guess now they're playing him a little bit. Jaron Jackson Jr. I, I've been saying all day. Like I, that seems like an obvious play to me. I'm surprised people aren't going with it. Jaron Jackson Jr. Yeah, like that game could stay close, and it, I mean they have nobody else. Like everybody was jumping on him in these spots before, and and he is a volatile guy. But there's a ceiling for him against the Spurs. Like it is when it is tough though because he's going to probably get in foul trouble against Wemby. Um. Can you fade Pritchard here, though? Oof. I really don't want to. Troy Brown starting. Yep. Yeah. Um, I don't think that that's a thing. Uh, we knew he was I mean, starting. Hey, I mean, he's a 3K guy starting. We knew he was starting all day, though. Like, there was never a question. Well, that wasn't true. I, I, I mean, he started the last game, and they lost the guy who started. So I can't imagine oh. that they wouldn't have. Although, wait a minute. No, no, he didn't end up starting. My bad. He may not have ended up starting last game. I could be wrong about that. I don't think he did, actually. Um, how is he only 24? Doesn't it feel like Troy Brown's been in the league for like 10 years, Sheets? Yep. That's what DFS does to you. Because I'm like, Troy Brown, 24 years old, was traded. I was like, what? <laughs> 24 years old. Sure, sure, sure. You sure they didn't mean 24 years in the league? Yeah. So GG Jackson would be the logical. Then the value would be Goodwin and Giroux. Okay, let's do that. Giroux. You think anything's going to happen to Otani? Yeah, actually, I do. But. I hope not, but I, I think that, I think something probably will happen. I know, I know. But listen, Ash, it's they, they don't want to. They want. They don't want to put Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame, so they gotta. <laughs> something. Yeah. They have, you get the forward thing with Davis now tonight, which is kind of nice. We should have to stay the week though. Okay, so seventy to sixty-six Auburn. They're up three. With 3.23 to go, the entire civilized world that doesn't have an interest in betting Auburn is rooting for Yale. I would hope, I would imagine. Yeah. How much legit risk is there? There's risk. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. They're questionable. That's an impossible answer to the question. Answer. Any Hauser love? Not, not no Hauser for me. Not not with him not starting. No. Um. I'm kind of solo owned. I actually kind of want to play him. Uh, <laughs> that's just. But so I'm I'm not. How am I? I mean, I would have thought I was getting something from the Pistons today, and I I just didn't end up there. Somebody's gonna do something, but I don't know. Not I'm gonna look in like five, I'm gonna I'm gonna look in five minutes and hope that everything is updated. How about that? I, I can dream, right? My DraftKings is freezing up. God damn it! This is the same thing that this is the way it happens. We've got to film it and set show it to them. Is that is that what you have to do nowadays? I mean, look, I I, I show this to them all the time because because I mean, it cost me that it cost me sixty five thousand dollars that one night. Ugh. Okay, let's be able to do this. There we go. Okay, it's back. <sighs> Tillman Pritchard, I, I am gonna play Noir, some Noir and some Freeman Liberty. And I don't, honestly, I don't think anyone knows if they negatively correlate. <laughs> Because, yeah, you could argue they're playing the same position, but they're really not. Like, one's a guard, like a point guard, basically, and then there's like a power forward, depending on which night it is, I guess. Right. Um, I would just be waiting personally. Like, I, I still would, I, I would get one or two pieces from, from Toronto. Um, most two. I would get one or two pieces from the Celtics, probably two. 
Uh, I'm curious where Tillman ends up projecting, but I, I actually don't particularly care. I'm going to play him. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm just like fix, fix, fixing all that. This is why I usually get out of here because I hate dead air. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me uncomfortable. Hey, hey, what? Dead air. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. But I mean, this one is. All right, so we can get out of here. That's right. Here we go. I got my line outside. But yeah, I mean, whatever. We, we can get out of here anyway. All right, guys. I'll be in the Discord. I'll just update my, my uh, not my build. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. We can, we can do this here for something. It's tied. Auburn, Yale. Two and a half to go. We can we can oh. stick around. I can play by play by this if you guys. Okay, want. Yeah, yeah. That's something we can do. Oh, I'm so tilted about that golf. <laughs> I was ready for a good weekend. Okay, seventy to seventy. Uh oh, gold tending looks like. Looks like score the goal, Auburn. Even DraftKings has Sam Burns as even. Hmm. Through the round. What the hell? Maybe it was a mistake. But they changed it. <laughs> Some young got through. Ugh. Okay, 72 to 70. Yale ball. Two minutes to go. Pulling up for three. Bang. Ooh. Yale up one. Two minutes to go. The Eli's are going crazy. Two minutes to go. Auburn bringing it up. They're not lagging on their update. It's been like two minutes. Scroll it over, download to uh, somebody. Steal by Yale. Oh my God, with the ball, minute 45. Let's go, Yale. Jay Pul Pulakitis, 28 points, career high. How about that kid last night with the 10 threes? That was pretty nuts. He made 10 threes and he attempted eight twos the whole season. I know. That was crazy. Pool Dukas again, pulling up from the top of the key. Bank shot, no good rebound, Yale. A minute 14, pulling it out. It's and too late. Good time out, good time out. I've got, I've got, I've got to finish my builds here, um, but I'm going to stay on here anyway just while I do it. Good keep, 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 narr keep narrating, though, as much as you can. Yeah, time out. And I'm going to update. <laughs> may as well update the projections now. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure that – that Tillman is necessarily going to get as huge of a buck. Maybe he will. I mean, like he could easily be the highest projected player on the slate or not. Like I, I really, I, I don't know what they're going to do with this projection. Meanwhile, is Toronto projections even updated? No. I mean, but, I mean it's only been like five minutes and it does take them a little bit of time. It's really tough to do it with basketball. I'm sure there's other sites that are just starting to try and do their, their little ones. You know, we used to joke about it when at different sites, you know, like about how it just would like, like hedge it, it would go like a little bit and then it would go way too much and then it would pull back but it would right, be all right, right. <laughs> right. Um, Hellenic, bruce brown grady dick nora is not starting you're saying freeman liberty is starting okay
I do like that Ramsey guy off the bench a little bit. That's the only rules that no one's allowed to like watch any other data feed because I'm doing it off my TV, which is probably 30 seconds behind. For what though? For the college basketball. Tell me, you go to the sports book on DraftKings, you'll have to be like oh, yeah. probably a full minute ahead of me. Oh yeah. So if you want to go do that? That's fine. I'm not looking at the chat, so you don't have to worry about spoiling it for me. I'm just watching it. They want you to build a crazy lineup, but I think it's too late for that. I said way too late. It's way too late. I've got to. Uh, I'm gonna end up with Curry in my main build after all my my stuff, but it is what it is. I couldn't get oh, yeah. one. I have it back Maxi too, but I can't. I couldn't get to to Halliburton. I, I'm not sure that, that I mean again they didn't change Noir as much yesterday. And Noir was still 50% owned off the bench yesterday, too, for what it's worth. Um, let me see. They do they do Liberty? They're giving him 20, 21. It's about I guess that's reasonable. Yeah. At 73 72 Yale with the ball. Minute 12 to go. They have it at the top. Almost threw it away. No, still have it. Five on the shot clock. He pulls up terrible shot, air ball. All right, so it was actually 24. There was a violation anyway. So Auburn with the ball down one. 55 seconds to go. Auburn with the ball down one, two, five. Okay. Oops. No timeout. Is that Bruce Pearl? Yeah, I guess so. It looks like Bruce Pearl. Is that, is that what Bruce Pearl looks like nowadays? Anyway, it's 73-72. Now they're spending an hour like trying to figure out how much time is left on the clock, I think. It's so long in the NCAA at the end of the games. It's so crazy. All right, I'm going to put my exposures right now onto uh, Discord. Just to, I'm pretty heavy. I'm not playing a crazy amount. So I ended up, wow, is that really right? Hold on. Let's see something. Right, so something happened while I was updating projections, so I couldn't check it out. So someone's on the ground. 46 seconds to go. It looks like Auburn got fouled. By the Philogopolis guy, whatever. Or maybe not. The referee's spending an hour talking to the to the to the bench to the to the to the camera again. But no, they can't uh They can't uh, review that block. <laughs> yeah, this is what I mean. Like it's, it's just an official review of something. I don't know. Maybe the guy's out of bounds. Maybe there was something. Referee still. I'm just going to take a quick look and while well, Sheets is looking at that, I'm going to refresh the heat. Official review of something. That's all I can yeah, say. Yeah, you got Tillman and, and Freeman Liberty as the best projected players. Noir is down to 25 projection, Freeman Liberty up to 26, uh, Tillman up to 21. And uh, well, as I did not plan to do today, I somehow ended up with Freeman Liberty in my main lineup. And don't ask me how I did it. <laughs> so yeah, there, the review, let me see what they're the reviewing. Looks like a back screen. No, the guy totally fouled him. The, guy, <laughs> the Yale guy totally mugged him. I don't know what they're reviewing. The guy completely like, body slammed him pretty much.
And we got three referees are, are, are talking about something. Let's see. I believe that's going to be the, the decision here. Just a foul. Oh, just a common foul. Okay, so they were worried about whether it was a common foul or whatever. Yeah, let's play ball. Good. I'm glad they could do that. I hate when they do the. So this guy's going to the line. Uh, for two, oh, I, I think one and one. Yeah, he's an eighty-seven percent free throw shooter, though. His first one's up. Missed the one and one. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow, eighty-seven percent free throw shooter, shooter missed the one and one. First end, and now they're going in Yale shooting free throws. Jones to set up to think, think about those free throws. There's a reason that when we watch a couple of football games, those coaches are using those time. Oh, I mean, there's something to that. And here's the deal, too. Yale gets two free throws every time they step to the free throw line. Well, let's see if the Yale guy can do any better. Danny Wolf going to the line. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Made it, and, and now now DraftKings wants me to, to verify my account. Are you kidding me? I was having a I mean, I, I think that there, there's something up with them. With eight minutes to lock, they want me to do it. Another free throw is good. Three point game. Auburn ball. Forty five seconds to go. Let's see. 40 seconds to go. Swings it across. Into the corner. Pumps. No three. Goes. He takes to the rack and he's fouled. And Danny Wolf is fouled out. 75 72. Auburn shooting two free throws. 33 seconds to go. How much does Auburn have any timeouts? Uh, I can't tell. What are you watching it on? It's usually like right on the thing. I don't know where to look. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Like, it doesn't say anything. I thought you'd be like the first person to know this it stuff. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't say timeout, Jermaine. Oh, shit. Duran is, Duran is out. Okay. Who? That just happened. How did that, how did that sneak by before? Um, okay. where, where do you have that? So is Duran, so Duran is out even though he's not starting like a minute ago. Okay. Um, I have Duran starting like right now. MJ, what? MJ, uh, let's. Yeah, yeah, it. Duran is out. Wiseman okay. season has begun. So, Wiseman, it is. Um, <laughs> okay. And I'm guessing Wiseman starting. Did they announce? I don't know. Over, Roger. It's a big one right here. It's a one-point game. Substitution made. We're gonna need a, a thing on it's there. Relative. This is where you gotta be strong with the ball if you're the Bulldogs. We've seen them break pressure with, with passes over the top, but at this point, the game. That would take some serious guts. 75-74. Yeah, with the ball. All, All right. are freaking useless right now. Everybody's scrambling at Wiseman in. What a stupid sport DFS is. <laughs> um, Pistons will start cutting him heavy brown Wiseman. Yeah, okay. So Wiseman is who you're playing. Um, yep. Yeah, and you're going to have to be annoyed when he has like three fouls in the first minute. Yeah, well, it is what it is. And I'm not even going to take crap for being for putting it out in the universe because it deserves to be out there. I can't believe this what he did it with two minutes with like two minutes to post. I think I think that I mean they announced they already had announced Duran starting, so yeah, something must have happened in the warm ups. Well, James Jones and Yale got to go the distance. They're got time now for our thrilling drives presented by Nissan. Takes us to another play. We've seen this Yale team break Auburn's pressure by throwing it over the top and throwing it deep. 
But Steve, it's one thing to dial that up early in the second half. It's another to dial it up up one with 33 seconds left in regulation. Okay, 33 seconds to go. I'm running my contest soon. with four minutes to post somehow. He's a big, he's 6'7", but he shoots 79%. Make sure he can come and catch the ball. They have two guards up. There's like a two one two of them. Just, I'm taking Nick Townsend to be able to four minutes to go. Still four to minutes. Being on that ground, I'm my clock. I got Yale ball. up in the background. Early in the NCAA tournament, it'll be Mahoney to take it out from the baseline. This is really Townsend really and Bang will come out. Yeah. Yeah. And a foul call. Yeah. A foul call before the ball trickled out of bounds on Brown. What do we got? Three minutes left. Oh, plenty of time. The, the pass from out of bounds to out of bounds. If there's no space, nothing actually happens here. You know, Broom is right there. That, that, you're leaving it in the, in the hands that's, of the officials right there. I mean, that, that's not a ton of space. And I, I would think the only ball press I would think is he's thinking he gets a smaller guy on tonight. Okay, Yale to the line. 32 seconds to go. Up one. Fred Brown is getting as much ownership well as, and I actually think it makes a little more sense now than it did. Jesus. 76 74 Yale, 32 seconds to go. Currently, I have Wiseman in all my lineups, by the way. Yeah. It sounds right. This foul shot goes down. I, I do think it's too early to talk about foul. You know, you see so many teams kind of follow three, but with 32 seconds to the game. I'm going to play Jalen Smith and just slide later. I don't have a time. gets subbed out. Gar him in defensively. And, and I'm with you inside 33 seconds, three-point edge. Something you want to do inside 10 seconds normally. Donaldson looking for the tie. Missed Auburn with the ball. Stolen by Yale. No, Auburn has it back out. Takes a two, missed. They get their own rebound. No, Yale rebound. 16 seconds to go, up three. Wow, Yale's going to do it. They're up three, 13 seconds to go. That's sick. I can't pay attention to it, but it's sick. <laughs> um, sick. Let the refract reflect. It is 658. And Wiseman has been projected. They, they're giving him 17 points. No, it's not right. That can't be right. I was close to that anyway. But now I am like I am off of you know. Here we go. So, dude, Yasin Gaharam, 60% from the line. Dude, I, can't, I, I, can't, I, I have one minute. I, <laughs> yeah, I know. I was not tracking this. 60% for the season. Hasn't taken a free throw yet in this game until now. He has not taken a free throw yet in this game. It's not like he's high volume, Lisa. He, he has not taken many attempts. Yeah, if you win this slate, by the way, you deserve it. You deserve something. They're going to add some time. 13.7. Let's see right now. Uh, 14.4, he said. Wiseman, Tillman, Brown, Brown. He ended up with five guys in the fucking room. Free throw is up and good. Four point game. Slate's locked, right? So we can breathe. Yale, 78 74, 14 seconds to go. Free throw is up. It is no good. Auburn ball, 13 seconds to go. 12, 11. Auburn takes it to the rack, scores and won. They fouled him for literally no reason. For literally no reason. The guy just was got, got an Ole layup, and they just bumped him for no reason at all. How much is that by? So they're down two, shooting one free throw. Oh, my God. Eight, eight seconds to go. That's crazy. 
point guard who wants to pop the air out of it, you're not getting this type of look. And then I think if, if you're Allison here, man, you, you got to contest, but you, you cannot. Either knock his head off or freaking let him dunk it, one or the other. Now, I wonder if Auburn's got a play to miss on purpose here. Eight seconds to go. Now, they got time. They don't have to do that. Seventy-eight, seventy-six. Auburn with the ball. I mean, Auburn taking the shot. They got to box out. Yale's got to box out. Free throw is up. It is no good. Rebound. It's on the ground. Whose ball? Held ball goes to. An Auburn ball. You got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. Down two with the ball, 6.8. And they're not going for any three. They're going to take it right to the hole. It boxed out well enough, but they just they just got jumped over. All right, they're inbounding the ball. They have no timeouts. They call the play inbound under their own ba uh, under Yale's basket. They got something called. Probably going to switch up at the top and come back. Yep, yep. They totally lost the guy under the basket. The guy had a layup. They call a foul. Okay, so there was they had no uh, under out of bounds defense. They left the guy wide open for a layup, and they came and fouled him. You have just no idea what this defender guy just did. It was just the worst ever. Meanwhile, he's putting this guy on the line. For two shots, they're down two, shooting free throws, six seconds to go. First free throw is up, and it is no good. <laughs> this is crazy. Nobody wants to win. Are they going to miss on purpose again? That's the question. No, that's that wasn't on purpose. It's 82% from the line. 78-76 down. Free throw is up. It is no good. Rebound, Auburn, of course. Blocked. Auburn for three for the win. No good. Ball game. <laughs> what a ridiculous ending. He missed both free throws. Auburn got the rebound again. And oh it's a big God. scramble. And they just couldn't get a shot off. Oh, my God. And the Yale did it. People let me rewind. Oh, here, I, see, I'm still on the free throws. Okay. Jeez. Oh my God. Just a wild scramble. That's crazy. Jubilations for the Bulldogs and All right. All right, dude. I'll talk to you later. All right. Good luck, man. Have a good weekend. Good luck, everybody.